I'm Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe on, on the, the go. go. So Jen, what are we going to cook this time? We're going to make homemade stromboli. Oh man, I'm sensing train wreck. Probably. But first, what do I hear? Dun 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 Okay, now it's your turn. Okay. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program for a special report from the Disney Drinkers. Bum, bum, bum. So, Jen, what are we drinking this time? Well, Joe, we have a bottle of Moscato Sangria in the fridge. Where'd this come from? I don't know. It's Carlo Rossi. It sounds like a nice doesn't matter man. where it came from. It's just that it's in our fridge. It's from Carlo Rossi Vineyards. Okay, we'll pour it in our sorry really cute little Epcot glasses from Food and Wine. Nothing says class like a screw cap for your wine. Cheers. Nothing but the best for us kids. Cheers. 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 Oh, that's Ooh. not too bad. It tastes like apples. Yeah. Mm. I thought it was going to be a lot sweeter and a lot mm. grosser. This is actually quite nice. Oh, light well, that's refreshing. good. Then it's not gross. Wine specialty beverage. It's not an actual wine. It's a wine specialty beverage. Okay, well, getting on to the Stromboli. We've never made this before, so yes, it could be a train wreck waiting to happen. Hmm. So, yeah, this is definitely not just a wine thing. This is uh, grape wine, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, because nothing says a classy bottle of wine like putting high fructose corn syrup in it. Okay, well, anyway, that's that. It's, you know, whatever, just for making this whole process a little less painful. Oh, it'll be painful, all right. Okay, so the ingredients okay. we have, oh, Mediterranean basil leaves. Really, that should be oregano, but you got to do what you got. You got to uh, use what you got. How do we not have any oregano? We just don't. I know for a fact that there's no oregano, but Joe's going to try to prove me wrong. Oh, shiza. Wait, is that oregano? This is all natural <laughs> Italian seasoning. And in the all natural <laughs> Italian seasoning, what's that one say? Can you read that one right there? Nope, I can't. Nope, you can't, but I'll read it for you. It <laughs> says oregano. How do you know that says oregano if you don't have the cheaters? Because I can see well enough. And I can smell it. <clears throat> so we got that there for you. All right. Nothing. You Don't can't, I look like a giant jackass? You can't do pizza without oregano. Sorry. But then we also have this quality <laughs> pizza sauce in a squeezable bottle. Quark, quark. Okay. And then we got some black olives. And we got the good old mozzarella cheese. Oh, no. And then what's this last ingredient, Jen? The pepperoni. Nothing says pizza like pepperoni. But wait, you're missing an ingredient. I'm not done with the pepperoni. Yes, you are. Da -na, da -na, have some pepperoni. Oh, the crescent dough sheet. Okay. This, how are we doing that? I have no idea what we're doing or how we're doing this, That's honestly. That's because I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, so this says preheat the oven to... <laughs> 500 degrees Shush. to 375 or 350 for a non-stick cookie sheet. We have a non-stick cookie sheet, so 350 is what we're going to set the... Da -da -da -da. Have some pep so, on. First thing we're going to do... Oh, I don't want that. Stop it. You're acting like a two-year-old. Have some pep on. Mm -hmm. mm. Joseph, I know how to do it. You know, you're going to spill my wine and I'm going to spill the brains out of your head. <laughs> you're assuming I have brains there. Okay. There might be another location. All right. Oh, oh wow. wow, that was the first try. I know. Okay. I didn't have to bang it or anything. So we preheated the oven to 350 and we're going to take our Crescent Dole pizza sheet. And we're going to open it. What is this called? Yeah, it's crescent. It's a crescent, crescent dough, dough sheet. sheet. Kind of like I'm sure you could use any kind of pizza dough, refrigerated pizza dough, 
And if you want to make homemade, I'm sure that would be <laughs> fine too. That's just not what we do here. Oh, God. Okay, so you're going to roll it flat, like so. Okay, then you're going to squeeze some of the pizza sauce on the sheet, but you don't want to use too much because eventually we're going to have to roll this out and we don't want it coming out the sides. I hate it when it comes out the sides. <laughs> Did I just snort? <laughs> do, do, do. Have some so put on. See? Stuck in my head, I feel just like a thorn in my side, in my side. You're a thorn in my side. Come on, I have a pepperon. I don't want a pepperon. But you're going to put the pepperon on the pizza. We're going to add a little bit more sauce just to make it a little more I think saucy. I'm going to need more than that. No, but you have to leave like around an inch on the sides so that when you roll it up, Joe, it doesn't come out, out of the all yep. over the place. I know, but I think you could put more, like, and there's a spot there. Mm. No! The here. Look. Joe, I just like the spoon. Joe! That's good. That's okay. I'm fine. Oh, it's only, we're the only ones eating it. It's okay <sighs> that you like the spoon. You know, you are not very fun to cook with. I'm tons of fun to cook with. I'm helping you put the sauce on and eating the okay. pepperoni. Okay. Now your job can be to place some pepperones. Yes! On the sauce. Have some pepperone. Have some pepperone. A pepperone for you and me. A pepperone for everyone. Can you like get it in the middle Whee! on the sauce? There, it's in the middle. Joseph. Da, 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 have some pepperone. Woo! Wow, that's pretty good. <sighs> okay, whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. Put one more pieces. there. One more there. Look okay. at that masterful pepperon. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's it's not going to fall Okay, anywhere. then you're going to take your little handy dandy, dandy container of olives. We buy them in the individual packs. I don't really know how much you'd need, like, if you had, like, a big can of them. But probably just enough to spread all over the... Hold on. Hmm. They're kind of lumped. Well, I'm going to fix it. I think I did a better job with the pepperon. <laughs> No, you didn't. No, uh, I think I It's didn't. all going to get rolled up, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, I see. Okay. So you criticized my pepperoni mm. for nothing then. Mm. And there are the black olives. They're going to, they're spilling. They're not spilling. Mm. Oh, you know, we, you, did they you did. Your, did you lick your fingers? Maybe. It's kind of gross. It's you okay. lick the spoon, you lick the fingers. You and I are the only ones eating this. Oh, you know what we do need? Why don't you get some of our fancy Parmesan cheese, too? Oh, you're going to embarrass me. I can't. My mother's going to be watching this. Oh, she'll be embarrassed anyway. <sighs> okay, then you're going to take your shredded mozzarella and you're going to add some of that too. And the nice thing about making this stromboli is that you can really use anything you want for the inside of it, whatever you'd like to put on a pizza. Maybe you'd like, oh, I don't know, spinach and um, maybe you'd like spinach and mozzarella cheese and mushrooms. Maybe you would like sausage. You can really do whatever you want. Although I guess if I did sausage, you, it should probably be cooked first. Okay, that's enough cheese, Joe. Then, cheese. where's Ooh. my fancy Parmesan cheese from a can? We'll do it this way. That was an epic fail. You're gonna get it all over the floor. Okay, that's not how you do it. Come on, it's then embarrassing. You sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. You know what? It doesn't matter where it comes okay. from. It just matters My that recommendation it is to go to a fine Italian market <laughs> that you might have close to your home and buy some real either Parmesan okay. or even better Romano cheese grated fresh off the block because it would be less embarrassing than this for sure. Sorry, Mom. I enjoy Parmesan cheese. Look, I know, but it's it's just it's not even, okay. Yeah, you know what you you know what you need to do. Turn well, in my then, Italian card. Go crack an egg into a bowl. We forgot the egg too because we're gonna have to brush the top of this with egg so it browns nicely. Oh, an egg in your head. I'm gonna crack an egg in your face. Crack. You know where you have a crack? In your butt. In your butt. <laughs> Here we go. Cracking the egg. Then we're going to just scramble it together a little bit. Oh, you got a shell in here too. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oh, I don't believe it. Joe, it's right here. Where? That's not possible. I don't put shells in things. It's 
right here. That's not a shell. That's... I mean, it's a baby chicken. Ew! <laughs> so now we're going to attempt to roll the stromboli. <laughs> oh, look at that. Washing the hands. Are you rolling it without me? I am. It's a uh, much... Jennifer? What? Did you forget to put something in it? The what? seasoning? No, you do that on top. On top? I rolled it, look how beautiful that is, and then we're gonna pinch the sides so nothing comes out. Okay, and then just... I know, you can be useful again. Go get me a knife, please. Okay, now we're gonna just put a little of the egg mixture that we beat, just so the top of this browns. You don't need a lot, just a little. Here's your knife. Okay, hold on, Joey. So see, we just spread a little bit on the top because you want it to brown nicely. Joe, I mean just a little knife. This is a little knife. It's not. This is a little knife compared to some. Oh my God. Okay, so then you're gonna make little slits in the top. What? Because the ingredients- That knife is too big Joe. for slits. You have, because the ingredients it has to be able to steam a little bit. I'm steaming, all right. Okay, can I show everybody? Okay. So this is what so it's going to look like. here's your rolled up stromboli. This actually looks good, Jen. I, I have know. to tell you. I know. Here's your rolled up stromboli. And it's got the little slits. So that way it'll steam. And then we're going to take just a little bit. Joe, that's way too much. <sighs> Joe, that's too much. Abondanza. What are you talking about too much? Okay. I think it looks pretty good. Now that you have this beautiful masterpiece that I rolled up, we're going to bake it for about, um, <laughs> we're going to start with like 15 minutes and then we'll go from there. What did the recipe say? I don't really know. Because you don't have a recipe. No, I'm doing it Where did you get way. this brilliant idea? From the internet. <laughs> okay, so the timer's going to go off in 11 seconds and I'm going to see if our stromboli needs a little bit more than 15 minutes. My guess is yes. I'm guessing this is just a little bit of a, hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen. Our oh, food's not done yet. There's our timer. Let's look. Let's, shall we? It looks good, but I'm going to give it like Let's do, what, another three to five minutes? Sure. What do you think? It looks good. It does look good so far. All right. Let's do, let's just do four minutes. Okay. So we already did 15 minutes, so we're doing another four. So that'll be 19 minutes on 350, if it's done then, which it may or may not. I hear the beeping. Oh, it looks good. Oh, look at that. Here, let me just make sure the bottom's not burnt. Can we turn the beeper off? Hold on. I think it looks okay. Can you uh, look at the bottom? How does the bottom look? It looks brown. Okay. Looks good. All right. So it's I think it's to, okay. It's starting to crack there a little bit, so I think we're good. Okay. Let's get a picture of the finished product. All right, what's the next step there, Jen? Okay, we're going to cut into it and see what the inside looks like. I'm guessing bloody. No. It's not it's not gonna be bloody? No, it's gonna be yummy ah, pizza. It hurts. Goodness. Ah, it hurts. Ah. Oh. Ooh, look that at does look good. That. Oh. Oh. Mm. That looks promising actually. Wow. I'm actually kinda hungry now. I wasn't so sure before. I'm thinking I gotta take a run to McDonald's after dinner. You should have faith in me. <laughs> I have lots of faith and lots of love. Okay, so for those of you who haven't been with our channel, and this might be your first time um, watching us, we did a video where we made a broccoli beef wellington, and you cut that into strips before you serve it. So we're gonna do the same thing with the stromboli. We're gonna cut it into strips, and we're also gonna serve it with a side of marinara for dipping. This actually looks really good. I don't think you're gonna have to run to McDonald's, Joseph. Hmm, we'll see. Oh. And I called your Donald's and get a deep dish pizza? No! Okay, now we're going to get some some marinara. You can use any kind you want. What we, kind are you using, Jennifer? Paul Newman's Organic. Ooh, Mr. Paul. 
Okay, so you can have an end. Oh, that looks good. It does. And you can have a middle. Thanks, honey. And here's your fork. Thanks. And then I'm going to have... That was a little loud. I can't help it. I'm going to start with the middle, and I'll have an end too. Okay. So go ahead and try it. Let me know what you think. Okay. We'll just share the marinara. Okay. Because your germs are my germs. Yeah, at this point, what difference does it make? It really doesn't. If I get COVID, you get COVID and That's vice versa. That's true, Joe. You're going to dip. Do a little bit of the dippy dip. Mmm. Is it warm on the inside? Mm hmm It's good? Okay. So then the time was good between 15 and 20 minutes, depending upon the oven. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. It does look good. Mm-hmm. And there's the tomato, salsa, marinara. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. Do you want to take a bite? Yes, I will. Mm. Mm -hmm. I do think it could have gone for another minute or two because mm. it's a little teeny tiny doughy. Yeah, maybe. So maybe it should yeah. go for like 20 to 22 minutes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think you're right about that. I think the temperature is fine, but yeah, maybe, yeah, just to make the dough a little crispier. Um, I do have to say, I think um, probably could have used a little more oregano. Um, but you know, nope. that's just me. Nope. Oh yeah. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's try a little bit of the old tomato sauce, the marinara on it. Try a little bit of that. But it's cold, so that's going to make this. Even though the temperature was okay without it, now it's going to make it a little cold. Hmm. Mm hmm. I know. Not bad, right? Mm -hmm. For a quick meal. On a weekday night. Yeah, that's actually really good. When you don't feel like cooking. Mm -hmm. Well, let's face it, I don't feel like cooking anything. You don't have remember when you never want to cook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the Jen and Joe on the go, in the kitchen, action. I know I don't want to miss it because if I do, then I'm going hungry and I'm going to McDonald's. I don't want to go to McDonald's. Unless I'm going to get the fish of the filet. I like the fish of the filet. And yeah. their french fries are good too. There are better fast food options out there than McDonald's. True. But for me, the fish and the filet is pretty good. Not everyone likes it, but I do. What can I say? I will say that our friend Arianne likes it. She and likes she doesn't the... even like yeah. seafood. I know. That is funny. But she likes the fish and the filet. I know. That's because that's not really seafood. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it tastes good. Anyway, um, so this was actually a really good meal. It, it was. was not too bad, kind of quick and easy. It was for the most part, and pretty tasty. It you was. like it? I do. It's not bad. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. So, mm. all right, I will put the um, recipe down in the description below, so you'll have all that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah, make it, try it, let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. Let us know how yours it's turned out. It's a little out. bit longer because it is a little doughy. Yeah, 20 to 22 minutes, you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Well, mm -hmm. that's what you get for not having uh, ingredients and directions and instructions. Mm -hmm. If I get salmonella. You are not going to get salmonella. I might. It's pretty doughy what I just ate. You're fine. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.